when we talk about english there are four skills you already know listening speaking reading writing whatever the skill may be grammar is the important part if you say you are listening to someone you are listening to that person in a complete sentence if you are reading something aloud from your text again it makes sense complete sentences again if you are writing in your book again sentence so what i am trying to tell you is when you write something when you see a writing a complete sentence listening writing reading or speaking you got to remember your grammar and practice knowing grammar having book is not the important but practice in speaking writing reading so today we are going to do a little bit of grammar for you and the most important that we are doing today is a sentence when you say sentence you know a group of words that begin with a capital letter end with a question mark or a full stop or exclamation that makes sense for not only for you what you write but those who see it those who listen and hear so we are talking about we are going to discuss about we are going to work together the sentence what is a sentence a group of word that makes a complete sense it begins with a capital letter n and that's what we'll do a whole lot when we as we go through it you will understand better every exercise will help you to be better in your writing in detecting a sentence kind of sentence parts of it etc talking will not do writing so we'll work together so we are going to do today the sentence a sentence okay what is a sentence a group of words a sentence a group of words a group of words that makes that a group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence so what is a sentence a group of words that makes complete sense it's called sentence and that's what we are going to do okay i will write out few sentences for you to understand what is group of word making complete sense so to understand that i'm going to put up a few sentences for you and me to read aloud hen lays eggs hen one hen so hen lays eggs birds what do the birds do birds build what do they build nest full stop we begin a group of word that makes a complete sense is called a sentence a sentence has a begins with a capital letter ends with the full stop hen lays egg it makes sense you okay. you have seen hen what do they do they lay birds build the all birds they build nest so it begins with the capital letter ends with the full stop and it makes sense complete sense next one 
The trees are tall. The trees are tall. Begins with a capital letter, ends with a full stop. Birds fly in the air. Birds fly in the air. Full stop. Begins with a capital letter, ends with the full stop. A car has a car has four wheels. Now, let's look at all these sentences once again. I said a sentence is a group of words. One, two, three, four, five. You cannot write in disorder. It has to be in order. Group of words that make complete sense. A car has four wheels. You begin the sentence with a capital letter and you will end it with a full stop. Now let's look at all the five words. A sentence. We have written five complete sentences that make sense. Hen lays eggs. I put lays because there is one single hen. Hen lays eggs. Ends with a full stop. Birds. Begin with a capital letter. Birds build nest. The cap letter trees are tall. Most of the trees are tall. We ends with the full stop. Birds fly in the air. Ends with the full stop. Begins with the cap letter. A car has four wheels. Begin with the cap letter. Ends with the full stop. Now you understood a little bit. A group of words. Now I cannot write lays hen egg. No. So. Remember, it has to have sense, the group of words. Okay, now, these are group of words and uh, these group of words do make sense. Okay, do these group of words make sense? Yes, because they make a sense and begins with a capital letter and ends with the full stop. We say these are sentences. We call this sentences. So when teacher asks you to write a sentence, a complete sentence, beginning with the cap letter and with the full stop, you can write. Hen lays eggs, the trees are tall, the car, uh, whatever. But it should be. Okay. Now, we must always remember a sentence always begin with, that has to be in your mind. Okay. A sentence A sentence always begin, always begin with a. A sentence always begin with a capital letter. Capital letter. That we have to remember. That's what I have done. We begin with the capital. The second thing we have to remember, uh, a sentence ends with a full stop. It can be a full stop, a question mark, whatever. Something has to be the end. So, cap letter. It ends. This too you must remember. It ends with a full stop. Full stop. You must remember this is very important and capital letter very important. I am sure in your, if you look at your notebook, the teacher would have put capital for the sentence. She would have put a full stop where you forget to put. So a sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with a full stop and it should make a complete sense. Only then you can call that a sentence. Now, I will write. Another set of sentences for you and you and I together will correct it. Keeping in mind, cap letter, full stop. Okay? Now, first one. How kind of you. 
how kind of you. Now, we can have to make changes so that cap letter full stop. How will you write it? Capital letter. A sentence begin with a cap letter. So how will you write? How H. So we are changing that small cap word capital. How kind. How kind of you. And end with a full stop. So we begin and we end. It does not begin with a cap letter. It does not end. So we have written here how kind of you. Begin with the cap letter and ends with the full stop. The second one. Can I have your pen? Can I have your pen? Now we have to make correction. Can. A sentence begin with the capital letter. So, can I have your pen ends with the your pen and after the pen ends with the full stop. You see that? So we followed both the rules. Begin with the sentence, begin the sentence with the cap letter, end with the full stop. And the third exercise I have here for you is the dog the dog chased. The cat. Now let's make the correction. We must begin with the cap letter, we must end with the full stop. The T capital, the dog chased the cat. Again, cap letter, full stop. And finally, we have, what is your name? The fourth one I have here is, what is your name? What is your name? The correction, W cap letter, what is your Name. Now here you don't, for a question you do not put a full stop but instead of that you put a question mark, a small change for you to understand. So that's what we have done. So what have we done now? We have done what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense and we have done few sentences here to understand what is a sentence. Now when you talk about sentence, we start the sentence always. You must remember, begins with a cap letter, ends with a full stop. And here you have a question mark. If it is a question, you end the question with a question mark. Okay? Now here we have done four sentences, trying to understand all sentences begin with a cap letter, all sentences end with a question mark or full stop. Now you understood what is the meaning of sentence when writing. Be careful. Begin with the capital letter, end with the full stop, question mark, whatever. We have learned what is a phrase, what is a sentence. What does a sentence have? It has a verb. What does the phrase doesn't have? It doesn't have a verb. So now what I am going to give you is, you know a sentence has a verb. This is what you must remember always. A sentence, a sentence has a verb, a doing word. This you must remember. Okay. Now, I am going to give you few sentences and we will together circle, okay. A sentence has a verb. So, you must circle the verbs in these sentences. What are you going to do? Circle the verbs 
in these sentences in the in these sentences okay now you're going to circle the verbs in the sentence and i'm going to give you the what does the sentence have it is a verb now i give you five six sentences and you will do it you and i will do it together okay first one hen lays eggs birds build nest next cow gives gives milk as milk next birds fly birds fly in the air or in the sky or in the air wherever full stop next we have susan writes well susan writes well and finally you have he is sleeping okay now what are we going to do circle the verbs hen lays eggs which is the verb here lays what does the hen do the hen lays eggs birds build nest build circle the word circle the verb cow gives us milk what does the cow give milk gives birds fly what flies birds fly fly in the sky susan writes well what does she do she writes and then what is he doing he is sleeping now you have a subject in every sentence the main person hen you ask a question to this main subject and then you will know what action they are doing let's do it hen what does the hen do hen lays you get the verb bird what does the bird do bird build then you get the answer you get the verb here cow what does the cow cow give cow gives us milk so you get the verb gives birds what do the birds do fly susan what is she doing she rides what is he doing he is here it is, is sleeping so now what we have done is we are trying to remember a sentence has a verb so what did you do now you circle the verbs in the sentence hen lays eggs lays is the verb birds build nest build is the verb cow gives us milk gives us the verb birds fly in the air fly is the verb susan writes well write is the word a uh, verb and he is sleeping okay he is sleeping so we learn to identify the verb in a sentence and circle it we'll do a short exercise now to identify a sentence from a phrase if it is sentence you write s if it is phrase you write p for this exercise that we'll be doing together okay write p write p for a phrase write s write p for phrase and s for a sentence it's a short exercise that we are going to do and you do it carefully the first one we have here is 
on the table on the table next we have the sun is a star the sun is a star next in a corner in a corner and then you have they are enjoying music they are enjoying music in the house after dinner after dinner she went to bed she went to bed now look at all this look at each of this i said there are phrases there are sentences write p for phrase if you find identify write s for sentence if you identified that is a complete sentence now for a sentence you need to have a capital letter end with the full stop or question mark exclamation whatever and then it must have a verb it must make a complete sentence sense the first one first second third fourth fifth and finally you have the sixth one okay so now all this you identify let's see how good you are 1 2 3 4 and 6 the first one you have is on the table yes you write p for phrase that is the phrase p on the table the sun is a star a complete sentence begins with the capital letter ends with the full stop the sun is a star it makes complete sense so that is sentence s for sentence good third one in a corner in a corner it's only a phrase because it's group of word that's not make complete sense phrase third one is a phrase very good they are enjoying music it begins with a capital letter they are all are it's got a verb it ends with the full stop they are enjoying music it is a sentence complete makes complete sense in the house it's a group of word makes sense not a complete sense so that's a phrase very good and finally you have after dinner she went to bed it begins with the capital letter it ends with the full stop and uh, it says something what she did she went to bed there is a verb it make complete sense so you say that is a sentence so what did we learn here we learned to segregate phrases from sentences remembering a sentence has a capital letter beginning ending with the full stop and it it did make complete sense 